Do, 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 do. As you can see, today we've got some Battlefield 1 gameplay and I'm going to be doing my first impressions, what I thought after playing Battlefield 1 for around two hours. I streamed it for an hour, then I played another hour off screen. If you wanted to check out stream highlights, I'll link them below. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to put in my collective thoughts. The open beta came out today. I picked it up on PC. It's trending over Twitter. This game is uh, it's just doing so well. Uh, the open beta confirmed what I thought. It is Battlefield, just set in World War One. Everything feels the same. The movement does feel more fluid. I had to get used to it because I've never actually played a Battlefield game on PC. Since my move to PC uh, around 10 months ago, I've never actually purchased a Battlefield game because I've been put off hardline. So as a console player playing PC, it was pretty easy to pick up. As you saw me when I was streaming, um, I was hitting some beastly shots. I mean, I killed the Armoured Bastard. I, that's where I call him, the Armoured Bastard. And those dudes are OP. Um, that's just another first impression. When you see, when you come across one of those big dudes with the armor on, you will know they're there. They take so many shots. If you come from behind them with the the sledge or the hammer, you can you can kill them. That is how I killed him. He ran into me, uh, stabbed him, and got the kill. And you get double points for that, which is fucking awesome. Okay, boys, enough of me rambling. I'm gonna break this down into the good and the bad. And trust me, the good outweigh the bad in so many ways. Um, starting off, this this is just a beta, and the optimization is on point. As you can see, I was streaming on a GTX 970. I've got a GTX 970, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and an i5 4690K, and I was getting 90 to 80 to 90 frames on high settings. As you can see, the game looks fucking beautiful. Recorded this on OBS with the highest 720p 6 frames per second settings. Um, no flaws there. The optimization is amazing. I don't ever expect anything different. Off EA, as money grabbing as they are, they are probably the best for ports. The ports are absolutely on fleek. Of course, we can't say for sure when the full game comes out. Then we'll be that'll be the full decider. But this beta is optimized brilliantly. No one can say otherwise. And my number two, it's got to be the graphics are. Sorry, I'll refer from swearing. They are amazing. I've never seen a game on PC look this good. That is me being deadly honest. It looks better than Star Wars Battlefront, which is on the same engine, but this just matches the World War One setting so amazingly. And the goriness is there, boys. I'll tell you that. Of course, there could be a bit more blood, a bit more bloody, a bit more blood there. But they might just like, kind of kill to kids. I know as stupid as that sounds, a war game appealing to kids. But that's what these corporations do. And the vehicles feel impactful. Some do feel OP, which will be in my bad. But they do feel really impactful. When you're in a tank or when you're in the plane, you know you've got power to say a little soldier on ground. You know you're going to have a huge impact on the battlefield. If you go into uh, one of the flags of the tank, you know you're going to take out most of the people. If they're on the feet, as long as they have no anti-tank grenade things, then you should be fine, which the assault class carries, I believe. Um, the classes, that is another benefit. I really like how they've done the classes this time. It still has that amazing battlefield feel. Uh, there's four, just four classes this time. There's no engineer class. There's the medic, the assault, like scout class and the like support which I prefer to have in five I prefer four and there is a couple of glitches here and there of course you expect that from a beta but it's beautiful vehicles have an amazing feeling it's optimized brilliantly um, I don't think you can ask for a much better beta really the buildings, I love Battlefield games for the destruction, the destructible environments, and that is back in full force, not like it was in Battlefield 4, where some buildings were just like indestructible, near enough every building in Battlefield 1 is destroy destructible, which was the, one of the main selling points for the Battlefield franchise for me, and it kind of did it for me when they removed it from Bad Company 2, I Bad Company 1, and then Battlefield 3, and then from onwards they've sort of removed of course, things have been destructible, but not on the 
scale as they were before. They've added that Levolution in. I'm not sure how Levolution is going to play out um, in Battlefield 1. There's been no Levolution events on this map. And if there is, I'm completely unaware of them. So if you know, the open beta is only going to be staged on one map. And the full game, 12, 12 maps, I believe. Correct me on that if I am wrong. But if you've not picked up the beta, guys, I urge you to download it. The open beta It's available on PS4, Xbox One and PC. And you won't regret it. I mean, even on PS4, my friends have said it runs really smooth and it just looks amazing I didn't even get to play on the highest settings because I, I'm not I don't really want to put my PC under that much pressure when I'm trying to record as well but now that is it for the good now let's just get into the bad trust me guys there's not much bad but I need to cover it as well and into the bad honestly guys there's not that much there's a couple things um one thing I'm gonna point off of the, off the bat is for some reason the Ottoman Empire or the Turks they win every single game I've played terrible when I've been on Britain and I've played terrible when I've been on Turks and Turks win every time for some reason I'm not sure if that's just some balancing issues that need correcting because they don't have the same guns so I don't know how how that works out uh, but I'm sure that'll be fixed for the full game it might just be teams I've been putting on but they're absolute crap um, the second thing is the vehicles I, I get that they're meant to feel impactful because it's World War One, and the vehicles weren't around that much, especially tanks and motorised vehicles with guns on. But they do feel a bit overpowered. Like, um, say I were with four people inventory, and we all got wiped out by one armoured car, which really shouldn't be that hard to destroy. But I was throwing those anti-tank grenade things on it, um, and it just did absolutely nothing. It damaged it and put it down to 50 health, and they continued to just kill me anyway. Uh, that needs fixing out a little bit, but again, it is in beta. I'm sure that'll be fixed for the full game. That is the only two things that I can really point out, guys. This game is near enough flawless. EA have thought about everything. And one thing that, it's not really in the game, it's just the season pass. I wish they'd not gone for that route, but obviously, we know what EA are like. But congrats to you guys. You put together a brilliant beta here, and I hope the full game delivers on what you promised. That is it for this video, boys. If you did enjoy, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow.